Hey guys, this is Grizzly Assassin here, and uh, welcome to episode one of Let's Play Life is Strange. Uh, so, we're going to start off uh, at the beginning of the game, and in this episode is going to cover all of um, season, no, no, sorry, not season, uh, episode one. So, um, yeah. Um... And my friend over in Epic Gaming, which if you didn't know, Epic Gaming is a channel owned by me and my friend. Um, my friend over at Epic Gaming is doing a Walking Dead playthrough, and um, he should uh, check it out. It's pretty good. Um, actually, let me turn the audio much better. Okay. Now I can hear myself. Um, so yeah. I, if you can see my taskbar, bar, I apologize. I don't know how to record without, because I can record that, like I can record uh, the whole thing, just not that, but if I, if I record the game without that, it'll cut off a little bit, but Ask bar already. That's off a little bit. Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I love how uh, Please let me Max me. is taking this because that is. I mean, she doesn't even know this. And why? Please explain why she is going so quickly. You're in a storm like this. I mean, Jesus Christ! Look at this. Shouldn't you be moving faster? Uh, I mean, where I live, if I saw a storm like this, I'd be terrified. Holy shit. I like the effect where it gradually gets less blurry. Although I actually kind of prefer it being blurry. It's a little bit more threatening. If the audio is a bit too low, I apologize. Just tell me in the comments if it is. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. I mean, there, there's subtitles, so it shouldn't be a problem. From colors to cure skin. Now, can you give me an example? Oh yeah, um. Nah, I didn't. actually I never mind. I was gonna say something about eight, but it sure didn't feel like a dream. It'll be a spoiler. Images of hopeless faces. We feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers in Korea. <laughs> she saw humanity as torture. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? My opinion is a pretty good photo. Laughing at me now. Right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. And any one of you could do that for me. Yeah, Max, but shh, shh, shh. I camera's still going to be up because it's uh, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Don't know what that Max, actual word is, but of course, it shouldn't be like that if you actually want to. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. That your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for... I feel as though the graphical art style they were going for they didn't really do it very well. Jefferson's beard. Muddy. Look, look, look at that. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotype, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. But now you're totally stuck in the Metro Zone. Bad for you. Okay. Good, Victoria. If you know somebody who says emojis like, like that out loud making them extremely and still has the nerve to take themselves seriously when they do it, dorks. 
boring. In your textbook. Or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career. Or depending on your choices, he won't go out together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending to Worse. I mean, technically in the game. You'll see. You'll see why in my playthrough. Yeah, doesn't episode. waste a second kissing ass. Say it, Max. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars no, avoid. I think Mr. Jefferson is one of the only hipsters that isn't completely annoying. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Also, if um, you say, do I have to, he gives the same response. won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to... Also, if you're giving a speech, don't say blah, blah, blah. Then I can't take you seriously. All you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist's... Max's eyes look so... Serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Well, doing what you were doing, they kind of already do. I love how she looks exhausted by sitting down and listening to the guitar. Bruh. Thank you. Can I get by? Excuse me. Wouldn't it be funny if you could just walk into the main Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for Nathan Prescott. But he won't. Got some beef. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. There's a theory floating around that Mr. Okay. Jefferson is also a cannibal. But I don't think so. I'll window explain open, why in episode 4 if I can remember. Or something like that. Explain why I don't think so. Okay, well, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Symbolism, ladies and gentlemen. It's cool, man. Things are good. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. I can see the headlines now. I hope you check rich son I blows up it, local. Right? Now, rich son blows up premium school. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I 
know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. It's right out of Compton. What are you doing? That just popped in. Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick. But he's white and rich, so that wouldn't work. Right out of Riverwood. Also, guns don't drop. Whoa. Like that. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. And she's taking this pretty hands. under. And then I was back here. This happened to me. I'd I freaking heard out. This lecture. From Mike to Scott. From Cullen. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. That muscle spasm. Damn, I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Now notice, okay. nobody <laughs> is giving like any attention to the fact that I just broke my phone. Can I actually reverse time? Or smacks. I did it. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the time machine. Anybody? Max. Wait a minute. Freak out. Hold up. Not yet. Victoria? Is this guy wearing? Keep it together, Max. You feel like total Is this guy wearing a white button-down shirt? Black jacket. Oh my. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Just put on dress pants. Desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Or are those dress pants? I can't tell. Too obvious. But they look too. What if I chose to capture people at the height of the yeah, they're innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So I think those are blue jeans. She could have taken another approach. Yeah, that they're they're blue jeans. <sighs> I prefer Robert Frank. Boot. Me too, Victor. He captured the essence of post-war Beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I believe his name is Hayden. Looking totally different. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. Also. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I. Why would you have can glasses? For the frame. And photography. Black, but the frame. Like quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured. I'm sorry. Sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A classless city of portraits, a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally See that Andy Warhol stuff. Fascinating. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Yeah, man, uh, <coughs> the Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. How you know you have a big ego when you discover something and name it after yourself. Namely, because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapter. Max is so far away ahead of everyone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Max, you are not yeah, those that Andy Warhol in the background. Like those photos with different, different designs. Yes, the story is this story. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of. If I have. Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand picks by now. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Max, Roasted. Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that light is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on. Don't John Lennon stop. actually say that though. Also, don't ever use this kind of music. Because, um, it will rewind things you might Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse me. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <sighs> Max. Oh, sorry, guys. Somebody messaged me. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Sorry. All right. Now to go save Chloe Price. Always getting herself in trouble. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Also, in the school I go to, there's a good chance that someone, this, somebody would ask him what the hell. Nobody runs like this. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photos, then the butterfly... See, instead of rewinding our steps, how about we do something productive, like, oh, say, scaring Nathan off. Alright, hang on, hang on, I'm sorry guys, um, I need to do something, I need to finish this quickly, conversation, have you guys ever been in a group conversation with no way to get out of it, and a wishing, that you had, and wishing you guys Now, observe. Runs out there. Not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Nine seconds after. Do not freak. Out. We exit, right? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? How did he not see? My boy, if you want me to take you seriously, shave off that mustache. Quit acting like you're from Texas. Oregon. Not from Texas. I'm from the South.
love how we wait until right before we are about to exit, and Nin says, "Hey, could you, you look a little stressed out? Are you okay?" Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just a little worried. I mean, the richest kid in school just waved a gun around in the bathroom, but yeah, I'm okay. You can always be a bugger in that. Or have you done something wrong? Also, why does he assume that? that? Well, Max. Max isn't really a troublemaker in this whole thing. So here's the deal. If I report Nathan, he won't believe me. If I hide the truth, he won't believe me. So either way, I, just got I might as well hide the truth so that you Nathan isn't mad at me. Like a and do you think That's a logical thing to do. Use that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too to get. You know, I've I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on. Also, is this guy wearing a Christmas tie? You're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside your class. See if you know about Blackwell Academy, you know that it's full of no, he does not only scene. Which means that he I just threatened to call the parents of a senior. What the heck is wrong? So ironic that Max is asking. <coughs> <coughs> it's so ironic that Max asks Warren to revive him. Or is it Warren asking him to revive himself? Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder okay. what happened to her. Nobody reaches down like that. To observe a poster that fell on the street. Especially not when the posters are all around. Hmm. There's Miss Grant and her petition. Okay, I gotta sign this. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor to pay me off? Sure, I always have to no. pay you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. That's slightly creepy. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Great. Could have helped Rachel. Funny thing is, we don't know what actually happened to Rachel yet. So why would we say that? Um, that's crazy. That's Which is be... I get why school should be on high alert these days, but... Cameras in the dorm rooms. Yeah, that's that that's too slow. much. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up to it. Because um has a noble if I was doing Native something Native I didn't want anybody to see. This land I don't want to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You I still don't know it at all. There's a lot of power in this region. Uh, put that down below in the comments. What is an alma mater? Because I legitimately do this lecture. Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Hmm, clever. Heck yeah, I'll sign that. I don't mind security, but not your surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I was, my school started adding security cameras to freaking dorm rooms. I'd feel as it more of a police state. What is it, Warren? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. It reminds me of what um happened a couple years ago with the NSA. Um, Edward Snowden. We're led to believe that the men's dormitory is in the same the building as the girls' dormitories, just separated. 
If that's the case, what's the point? Oh look, it's Max Caulfield. The selfie hoe of Blackhawk. Now observe. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark Mr. He acts as if she's dropping hot bars in a rap battle. Look at her. The Daguerrean talks that sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds there. That makes no sense. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't leaving. Oh, Wait. since I... Hold that pose. Oh, what? So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post this all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? That is the oh, dumbest. Yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Play this game before. Samuel, go here. Turn on the water pump. What Spray the her with freaking. Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cat mirror. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look News flash. Water dries. Your cash bear will be fine. Wait and observe. Serve this game of football. Catch. Let's see this throw. Oh, don't interrupt me like that. Now I can play. Also, can Samuel not see five feet in front of him? Okay, I just did that right in front marks. of him. Might be looking at the ground. Directly at the ground. No way. No fucking you okay, Victoria? Now your cashmere will not be fine. Wait, that pain is not good for hair, no? Get the hell away from you're going to wash the pain out of your hair, but your, your cashmere is screwed. Hold on. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? This is my dilemma right here. Do I give her what she deserves and roast her? Or do I comfort her a little bit and make her feel... I'm planning on telling her now. Mine as well. Give her a taste of what's coming. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. <laughs> now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have I can see the caption. Hurry, Courtney. They phase right through you. Look at the sticky Looks note. Like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. That Dana I have to go get the flash took the flash drive. No problem. You just go to Dana. Well, no, because her friend just locked her in there. Which makes no sense because how do you lock somebody outside? Welcome to the 
real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I brought Dana in the room because we're cool. That's not really what she asked. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never Getting talk. All you just things. zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Watson. Juliet Watson. Uh, I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't Not really hard, mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Three words, according, according to, Victoria. to Victoria. Why would you believe? She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Probably could be because Zachary is out playing football. Getting involved in drama. Once again, I'm sorry as you can see. show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Okay. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You look are. on her face. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with that? No. Man? But I get stupid jealous. I owe Why you did you believe in me? Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks. <laughs> Dang. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. See what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. One flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious. That so Max never has to chase it down again. Your precious. I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Um, stopping it right here. Um, hope you enjoyed it.